what's happening welcome to my youtube channel it feels so strange <laughs> to use your video what's poppin brand new whip just hopped in i got options i can pass that bitch like stockton just joshing i'm spending this holiday so today basically for this video i'm <clears throat> doing something pretty simple i'm just gonna do my makeup do my hair tell you guys to do it and then answer a bunch of quick bunch a bunch of questions um that you guys have asked me on instagram and tiktok so i put up a post on tiktok just asking you guys to um to follow me not to follow me to, fucking hell. <laughs> to ask me questions and assumptions that you have of me and i've done the same on instagram <clears throat> the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my hair because right now it's actually awful um basically i used to have really long nice blonde hair but i went a bit crazy and dyed about 500 different colors so i've cut it really short and this is my natural hair um because if you like follow me on instagram and stuff you know that i have different hair every single week um i have blonde hair red hair today i'm gonna do a high top knot bun in my hair so gonna do that first of all and we're gonna answer some questions okay, i'm already a bit closer but personal my face i'm not even got any moisturizer or anything on so my skin looks dry as fuck <sighs> can i just sit so i actually i'm not sit so i'm so jittery because i'm not left the house but i can be going insane <laughs> so the first thing i'm gonna do with my hair is i'm gonna wet it and i've got this aussie's conditioning spray just to add some wetness to my hair so the first question that i have been asked i've got them on my computer here so that's why i'm looking down is on tiktok by some call look um i'm not even gonna pronounce that name because i don't even know how to say that some low pump something i don't know but anyway they've asked me what my favorite clothing brand is Ju i just like buy all my clothes from pretty little thing like this what i'm wearing right now pajama set thing it's from pretty little thing so basically pretty little thing then i guess and the next thing that i'm going to be doing for my hair in this top knot is adding um this extra hold mousse and i'm basically just going to put this on my hands and put it all in my hair and then and then use my tangle teaser to like brush up and get it into a bowl the next question that i've been asked is what is the one thing you always do if you need to pick yourself up so if i'm feeling like poop when i was a bit younger when i was in like school like a couple years ago or something well when i was in my other school because i've been to three high schools so when i was in like my first two uh, when i was really down and needed to pick myself up i'd usually like try and spend time with my friends and stuff because all my friends who are still my friends were out from outside of my school because no one in my school liked me so yeah um <laughs> basically i would hang hang out with my friends and i'm a dancer as well so i would go to dance classes and they would just make that would just make me feel so much better about myself because i would always look forward to like a friday because on fridays <clears throat> i had like my dance training with a dance crew that i used to be in called soul clan warriors and um there would always be like it would be a dance class basically but like for the first two hours it would be like so a dance teacher would come in and teach us like a choreography and then we would do some like our like our troop training like for like competitions and stuff and then after that it would be like um oh yeah after that it would be like <laughs> after that it would be like freestyle and so i'd just get to dance like the way that i like to dance so the next question is how and when did you get into dance so when i was about i want to say 10 i went to like a dance school basically and um i just really really was not accepted when i was there like i was always put in the back and stuff so i really didn't enjoy it but i love dancing so much because when i joined everyone already knew each other so i was kind of like left out kind of a thing so well that's basically that's how i felt about it because like and plus i, when I came home from dance and had bruises on my back and stuff because they worked just so hard like and not properly like it just really wasn't good um so yeah but then when i was 13 my mum was like looking around so i really wanted to get back into dancing again 
so my mum was like looking around to see like dance teachers or dance classes and stuff and I found this one dance teacher her name was Divine um she basically she she's like an she does like afro dance kind of dance hall and stuff so I went to her dance classes went there for ages um, and then I really started getting dancing, getting into dancing. I've only been dancing for three years. After being with all those people, I started going to other dance classes. I made loads of, that's how I met my friends. I even met a boyfriend through dancing. Um, <laughs> and I also, oh wait, I met a boyfriend. And I met another person then that I went in a relationship with through dancing. Let me just say relationships meeting through dancing is not it. Next, I'm going to take this got to be glued and I'm going to spray it on my hair and then brush up the flyaways and then after that I'm going to take my eco gel and I'm going to do my baby hairs because right now as you can see like there's so many flyaways and I also I'm going to put this scrunchie this Gucci scrunchie so yeah I'm just going to put that around my bun that I've got I hate that clip yes yeah, amazing it looks great so the next question is how do I feel about my exams being cancelled so i'm 50 i was i was in fifth year of um high school i've now left because i was planning on leaving at the end of fifth year anyway to go to college to do musical theater I was upset obviously like everyone else was but i actually have everything that i need to get into school like into my college course so i'm not absolutely devastated but i'm just kind of just like it was kind of surreal because i was not expecting skills to have like to just finish like that because I was still expecting that I was because I, I knew I was gonna leave but like I was thought I had a couple more months you know but no I guess not the next thing question that I've been asked is my thoughts on corona I don't really know how to answer that question basically um I don't really have thoughts on it um I just obviously it's pretty 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 crazy to be honest um but there's so many conspiracies and stuff about it but I just think everyone should stay in their fucking houses. Like, what's the need to leave? Like, there's so many people that I just see, they're like leaving to go and like see their friends and stuff. And I'm like, can you just stay in your house? Because the longer that you, the more that people leave the house, <clears throat> the, the longer we're going to be staying in our houses in lockdown and not be able to have summer. Like, have a summer. And that's not good. Because I'm seeing the same people on like, that are complaining about, oh my god, hate this lockdown. Uh, can't believe this st such and such is not going to happen and all that and I'm like yeah but you're the one who's leaving your house like the same people leaving their houses are the same people complaining about it just stay in your houses and then everything will be okay next question is what do you want your future to be it's quite a good question actually um so I want to be a singer I want to produce my own music which I'll probably actually do a couple of videos on me singing doing music and stuff um my boyfriend he wants to be a producer he makes beats he's absolutely fantastic at it he's so good um so we work together i have a manager we work together we do music together um my manager denise i love her so much so much she's so amazing but um so yeah me and mark we like work together um we make music and stuff right now we're like doing music and things um <clears throat> it's quite hard quite hard to do just now because we're not with each other because obviously lockdown but yeah we're basically we make music to get uh make music he makes the beats and i like sing over them and stuff make more write more songs <clears throat> things like that so i basically just want to anything to do with music is what i want my future to be about because i love music so much so the first thing i'm going to do is take is take my moisturizer and the moisturizer that i'm going to be using uh, oh my god is Clinique Moisture Surge um, and I basically use this like I don't use primer or anything and I also don't use setting powder which people are always like what the hell that's so weird but my skin's just so like it's not dry it's not oily it's just normal so like when I put my makeup on and stuff I don't need setting powder because like if I, I don't even know how to explain it but basically I just don't need it um, so yeah I'm just gonna put this on and then after I use my moisturizer i use this estee lauder um revitalizing supreme plus it's actually anti-aging cell thing but i use it underneath my eyes so the first step that i do with my makeup 
is my brows so i'm just gonna bring you in a bit closer hey hi guys so the way i do my eyebrows people think i'm weird as hell because i use mascara but i started this trend with my friends because i was using my mascara my eyebrows and then i noticed my friends started using mascara on their eyebrows so trends here brush up my eyebrow hairs with mascara and the mascara that i use is kind of like low-key dried out which is good because it like doesn't leave too much on my eyebrows <laughs> then i go in with this uh, nyx next with the hell you think pronounce it brow pencil so another, the next question that i've been asked is how on tiktok how i have confidence to just take videos with like people walking past and stuff and my answer to that is i actually do not care like if you're my friend in school you would know that I would literally do anything and not, like, not care about it. Um, like, I just, like, I think it's because I've been to quite, quite a few schools. It just came to the point where, like, I actually didn't care if people would judge me or not because none of my, apart from the people that were my friends in school, no one else, like, in the school was actually, like, my friends that I was ever going to, like be with like outside of school and like hang about with so like I really wasn't bothered like what they cared about because I was I my thoughts were basically I'm never gonna see them again I mean like the people I'm talking about the people like that I don't know and like, I didn't speak to like I was like I do not care if they think I'm weird or if they think that uh, whatever I don't I actually just didn't care what anyone thinks about me because they're not my friends I only care about what my friends and my family think about me period so I go back in with my mascara rebrush up my eyebrows and that is it but right now they look a bit weird but it's okay because we're going to conceal them <laughs> the next question that i've been asked is what's the worst thing a friend or a previous friend has ever done to me and i have a perfect story um so yeah um if you're watching this then cool cool for you hi um, but you'll know who I'm talking about. So basically, oh, oh, my concealer that I'm using is LA Pro Conceal, and this is actually the yellow um, color corrector. It's just really good for my foundation mixture and stuff, and my skin tone. So that's why I've got it. I'm just going to conceal it underneath my brows, and then I'm going to buff it out with this like concealer brush thing that I've got. I don't even know where it's from. Just, just a concealer brush that I bought from Boots. <laughs> Uh, so the worst thing a friend or previous friend's ever done to me. So this is definitely a previous friend. Let me just let me just put that out there. Let's just call this girl Snide, right? Because what she's done was very Snide, right? So we're gonna call her Snide. Um, basically, so I had a boyfriend of like ten months or something, not that long. Plus I was like fourteen or something. So right now I'm sixteen. So, but I was fourteen at that time. So like it was not like it wasn't really that serious but like to a 14 year old it was pre it was pretty serious for a 14 year old relationship so i met this boy when i was with this girl snide i met like i saw him like on a train and then like he messaged me on instagram stuff blah, blah, blah. so like the whole entire relationship of me going out with my with the boy um snide knew him so basically it came me and this boy he this boy was just actually too much like he had so many anger issues and stuff like he just done too much like he was just too extreme for me i'm just gonna go in with the sd lauder um, foundation and the shade toasty toffee i'm just gonna use my boot blender to blend that i had been so it came to the end of our relationship and um we it was like i'm gonna say like a week after we had broken up i saw on my friend this wasn't even my friend, this was my best friend. Like, my best friend at the time, right? Like, with each other, like, all the time. Like, literally my best friend. I saw two week, like, a week later that my, the boy that I had broken up with, my ex-boyfriend, was in her house. Now, because she posted it, just posted, not even on a private story, just, like, on her main story. Like, without giving a caring. And I was like, why the hell are you with him? And then she was like, she was like, he's my friend too, like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like what do you mean so obviously i was getting very mad at her um and then i was like what the hell but it was because like their mums were kind of friends kind of because she had a little brother uh, snide had a little brother and um uh my boyfriend the ex-boyfriend had 
a like little sister and they like dance together and stuff so like fair enough for that right so I kind of understood it on that part but obviously imagine seeing like your best friend was with your ex-boyfriend that you'd just broken up with and then basically the whole argument stuff happened me and Snyder had broken our friendship and we're in November, like May May I want to say like May maybe this time last year basically um and was it last year no this time two years ago sorry so in August of 2018 I was just chilling and I was at Worlds which is a um, dance competition in Scotland if you don't know and I actually won world champion dancer just so you guys know I was just chilling and then I was with my friend and she was like do you know that Snide and your ex-boyfriend go out and I was like what so this bitch <laughs> this bitch went out with him so I obviously she started my best friend started dating my um ex-boyfriend which is absolutely crazy but at that point obviously I was so over him and I was in a new relationship so I really didn't care like I really didn't care on that part I only cared about her because I, cause I actually went and messaged her I was like do you want <laughs> you said his name do, do you go out with my ex-boyfriend and then she was like yeah and I was like wow okay wow that's wow um, so that's this, the worst thing that a friend ever done to me. Next, I'm going in with NYX Sculpt Highlight. Shout out to Tina. Tina gave me this. <laughs> and I still use it. Uh, so I'm just going to put this, obviously, in my contour piece parts. So I'm going to take my concealer again. And I'm going to put that this in the conceal the parts that I conceal. I'm just going to have the same bit of blender, basically. And blend it out my concealer and my... This. So <clears throat> the next question that I have been asked is why did I st what made me start TikTok? So I just want to say um, that I started TikTok in 2018 just posting random videos because like I thought Musical.ly was still a thing and I wanted to re-download Musical.ly and when I downloaded TikTok it was not the hype that it is right now. Like no one in my school done it. People that like knew that I done it in school were like, what even is TikTok? Why do you do that? Because obviously it used to be musically and people didn't know what TikTok was. Um yeah. so when I started people were like, What is TikTok? And I was like, Oh, it's just like this thing but when I was posting videos it just, like got like three views. Like no one like no one would like watch my videos. When I was you, I like it. Then I re downloaded TikTok again in the summer of twenty nineteen summer 2019 so not long ago um then i started posting and i like one of my videos went viral like that was with my friend and and then from there like i just started posting when i was on holiday and stuff and then like loads of my videos were going viral and stuff <clears throat> and then just kept posting and posting and posting and then that's where I, that's how i'm like at where i am just now so i'm gonna go in with the revolution concealer in the shade f15 this i go in with a brush and this is if you're watching this katrina this is your brush that i stole from you you just don't even know <laughs> it was in march for some reason so i just kind of took it i was using it because i needed it to do my makeup up marks and i don't know why it was in march room so i just thought i'd just take it you know Love you, Katrina. So my next question is, what's my favourite part of 20, uh, 2020? Um, even though it's like been ridiculous so far. Um, my favourite part of 2020, I have to say, was definitely New Year. Like, my boyfriend had a New Year's party and it was honestly one of the best nights of my life. I'd never ever been to, a, been to a New Year's party. So it was my first New Year's party and it was with every, all of my friends. Like, literally everyone that like I'm close with and stuff. And... It was in boyfriend's house as well, so it was a place that I like I knew and stuff. So it wasn't just like I was going to some person's house that I didn't even know. It was like a proper thing, and it was really last minute as well. Like there was we were there was no New Year party, so like my boyfriend just decided to kind of have one. But it was honestly amazing. That was probably my highlight of twenty twenty. Was definitely my New Year's party. So I finished my contour. I'm gonna move on to my bronzer. So I'm gonna the bronzer, and I use this one first to just lightly go over my cheeks, like to just add some warmth in my chin and my cheeks and in the middle of my head <laughs> now now i'm gonna go in with the inglot palette so i'm gonna go in with the pressed powder shade 61 they only have numbers like they're not and i have had this for a while as you can tell but these used to be so good but they broke and fell out so my next question is how am i so good at acting 
well I'm joking <laughs> um I don't actually I don't I, I know that I can act but obviously I went to theatre school for a number of years since I was like five up until I was like I don't even know like 11 or something 12 but um so I've been doing I've been doing it for a while um so I kind of know what I'm doing plus I've always been into like movies and stuff and like, I'm pr I'm quite confident quite confident um so I'm just able to like I don't know I think it's because I'm a dancer as well I don't really know I just like I, it's, it's something that I like to do so I guess I just I just like know how to do it and just enjoy doing it because it's fun it's fun fun thing to do with my blusher with the same with the same palette the Inglot palette um and this one is um blush visage i don't even know that's what it is and the next question that i've got is what is my advice to give on hate and bullies um as a person who's a victim of bullying for, for a number of years since um, since I was like, I want to say, I don't even know, what are you doing in primary seven? Like 10? Yeah, up until I was like 15, um, I was bullied. Uh, and so I've been to three high schools because um, it was due to bullying. Not actually bullying, it was more racism, like things like that because I live in a really white town. So I'm different, so you know, different's not good, <laughs> basically. My advice is, it, it does get better. Because there were so many times that I was just like, oh, this is the worst in my life, like nothing's ever gonna be better. Um, there was at such low points in my life, but things genuinely do get better. Like my life right now is actually amazing. If you get hate on your videos, who cares? They're just keyboard warriors, like they're just do -do 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 -do. find the keyboards, like doesn't even, who even cares about them? Like actually losers, like, losers so next i'm gonna go in with this little nars highlight um blusher thing with the same blusher brush and i'm just gonna like i take my blusher brush and go in and just add it like here so it's like still adding a bit of color i'm gonna go in with this barry m um, dazzle dust that i use sometimes when i'm feeling good i'm feeling good just now so and she's like what's on the lid it's kind of like a gold kind of color so i just kick a tiny bit because it's so intense just add a little bit. Oh, pretty. And a little bit to the other side. To my chin. To my forehead. And to my nose. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever worn that much highlighter in my whole entire life. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next question that I've got is what was it like making ting? Vanessa Hudgens in the Princess Switch. So I was an extra in the Princess Switch 2 movie um, and I met Vanessa Hudgens. I was in like a scene that she was in. So I didn't really meet her but like she sat down and she was like, she was like, oh, I'm so tired. And I was like, if you don't know who Vanessa Hudgens is then you're an idiot. But she's Gabriella from High School Musical and she is so amazing. She's so gorgeous in real life too. Oh my God, I was like fangirling. But like Loki wasn't. I had to like be like, yeah same <laughs> do you know what I mean so but yeah it was pretty cool really cool really good experience and um, really enjoyed that going in with my lip combo and my fake freckles things that I do why did I put one there I never put one there put it there there why did I do that it was weird <clears throat> another question I've been asked is if I could name my if I could give my style oh I'm gonna use my eyebrow pencil to do my freckles if I could name my style, what would it be? Um, I don't know because I've went through about 55,000 styles in the past couple of months. I was like going through like an e-girl stage at one point. I was going through like Instagram baddie at one point. Right now it's just like everything that I'm wearing has to have something designer in it basically. That kind of style. Like, I don't really know. I don't really have like... I couldn't, I couldn't name my style if I tried. The final stage of my makeup is my mascara. So I'm going to be using this. I'm not even going to show you the name of it because I don't bloody know what it is. But it's just normal mascara. That is my makeup complete. Basically, this is my 
like not like normal makeup like what I would do because I don't really wear falsies that much I usually have my eyelashes done um, but right now I don't because it's locked down so um, but <sighs> shout out to Beauty on Me who do my eyelashes for me um, but I don't have them done right now they usually the nails are usually snatched by them but they're not so my nails they're not done I get my nails done by I'll leave the whole description but nailed it nailed nailed it glasgow that's where i get my nails done by she's absolutely amazing she has so many cool designs and stuff so this is my first youtube video i didn't get through all the questions because if i did i would have been here for about 500 years thank you so much for watching my video make sure you like comment and subscribe um, and follow my instagram which i'll leave here and my tiktok which i'll leave here my instagram and snapchat are the exact same and i hope you enjoyed my video i'll see you next time uh, wait oh my god what the fuck? What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshin'. I'ma spend this holiday locked in.